Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts and Cross Nation. And for today's video, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed the, the little meme I had at the beginning. <laughs> but essentially, if you have not heard the news by now, essentially the JP version of the game has just dropped uh, the latest Kyrie medal, which as we all are aware, usually means the end of the world. <laughs> now obviously I'm using a figure of speech, but it is a pretty big deal, the fact that they already dropped a brand new Kyrie medal, especially when they just, like they literally just added the new buff cap uh, to the JP version of the game as well. Whether or not how quickly we'll get the buff cap as well as the Kyrie medal, I'm not too sure. Uh, for all we know, it could be in a couple days. They might be waiting for when the high score challenge might be over for all I know. It could, it could even be this Monday once, you know, the week resets. But they are gonna be coming fairly soon, that's for sure. Uh, now, just to quickly iterate what the new Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie does, uh, for anybody who's not aware, I've been pretty much blasting this all over my entire social media and stuff, so. Uh, but anyways, just to let you guys know, uh, this is what she looks like and this is what she does. She is a power upright metal, tier 8 AoE, cause 0 gauges, has a 7 star multiplier of a 22.01, which is really low, mind you. And for one turn, she provides a plus 7 upright buff, a plus 15 general strength buff, a plus 12 PSM strength buff, a minus 15 general defense down debuff, a minus 12 PSM defense debuff, and a minus 7 upright debuff. She also provides a 150% guilt buff, recovers 10 gauges, provides two counters, and cures ailments, and has max HP heals. Uh, her supernova ability, and yes, she does have a supernova ability. Uh, it is an AoE supernova ability. It has overwrite. I believe this is the first supernova ability in the big game as well that actually has an ability aside from pure damage. So her supernova itself also has an ability. Uh, it contains overwrite, but only for two attacks. Whether or not supernovas count as an attack, I'm not too sure. So if anybody in JP would like to let me know, please, by all means, let me know. But for two attacks, her supernova does provide a 200% guilt buff. Uh, provides an upright reverse PSM and general strength buff of plus 15. Remember, this is override, so it's setting it. So it's just overriding anything that the opponent already has and that you have. Uh, as well as it debuffs the opponent's uh, upright reverse and general defense by minus 15. It does not contain PSM defense debuffs, so just be aware of that. And it does not affect counters. Again though, her supernova ability only lasts for two attacks, so that does mean you have to think about when you want to use it. Now, normally what ends up happening amongst the Union Cross community, and this is pretty much what always happens when a new Kyrie medal comes out, is that basically people freak the crap out and they go nuts as to whether or not they'll actually be able to get her or not, and they basically, all, all reason just like leaves the room. I'm hoping that I can at least like rein back in some of that logic uh, to help let you guys know that no, it's it's not the end of the world. Realistically, she's not nearly as bad as I thought she was going to be, like to be honest. Um, to the point, like like quite literally, you can pretty much skip her for now. But aside from that, I will state that I am a little surprised by how much Square is kind of jumping the gun a little bit. Uh, because realistically, if they just made an entirely new, like, Kyrie medal that just simply didn't have overwrite and was just plus seven buffs and debuffs overall, basically like a Kyrie EX plus medal that just doesn't have overwrite but it's almost the same thing, maybe just slightly better or whatnot, if they just done something like that, that alone would have already helped out a lot because then you can just use Kyrie EX plus along with the new Kyrie. And that alone would help out, as well as giving them more room down the line to make more Kyrie medals uh, that still fit along the new buff cap if they really wanted to. Um, but the fact that they basically just kind of jump the gun and provide almost all of the buffs and debuffs in just one medal already when they just released the new buff cap, to me, that, I don't know. To me, that was, th that's kind of a, a jump, Square Enix, I think. I think you should have toned it down a little bit and so that way you could have made more carry medals in the future. 
I don't know. That's just me. That just makes more sense in my head. But whatever. We'll deal with it now because that's what we have for now is the new is this version of the Kyrie. Regardless though, it's not the end of the world. Uh, if you happen to check out my last video that I literally uh, just had posted like a few hours ago or so. I made it yesterday so of course the Kyrie medal wasn't announced at that time when I made the video but more or less she doesn't really change too much from what I said in that video uh, in regards to how the new buff cap was going to affect and change the meta and stuff like that and how certain medals were going to be used and such. If you happen to have been playing around the time that the Kyrie EX Plus medal first came out um, and you remember what my advice was for her when she came out. Realistically, the situation from back then with Kyrie EX Plus is not too different from right now. Because of the fact that the state of the medals that we have right now are pretty damn good already to the fact where we can still pretty more or less easily get most of our plus 15 buffs and debuffs without too much hassle. We're in a state of the game already where we don't actually need Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie right away. Sure, those of us that do get Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie uh, in the initial polls and stuff will have a slight advantage in the short term, but long term wise, it's not a big deal if you happen to miss her the first time or so, okay? Uh, you're much better off just waiting for a regular normal and keywords normal, uh, and I'll explain that in a sec, because <laughs> there's definitely some controversy about that already. Um, but waiting for a normal mercy pull type banner uh, to come out to obtain your copy of her. This this would probably happen after maybe like three, three months or so, two, three months of her being out in the game already. By which time we might even see a Supernova Shion medal come out by that time as well, especially with Kingdom Hearts 3 coming out in two months. It's very possible we could see the Shion medal come out in the beginning of next month in January or around the exact time that Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. Personally for me, I don't know if everyone's thought about this, but personally for me, I'm more curious as to like wondering what the new nominee medal is going to be like because it's starting to feel like that they're definitely going around, around the like the Kyrie evolution chain where they have a Kyrie medal, they have a Shion medal, then they're gonna have a Namine medal of some sort. That's kind of how I feel like they're, they're gonna be doing things at this point. So I'm kind of curious if there is gonna be a Namine medal. That's the one I'm most, most interested in just because she's probably gonna have the most like interesting or wonky ability. But at the very least, let me quickly go over what the JP version of the game had in terms of the banner. So these are the banners that they ended up uh, looking like. And believe it or not, uh, they have two separate versions of the banners. It's not, this isn't the same banner, okay? This is literally two different versions of the same banner, okay? So they have one version of the banner, which is the normal banner, okay? You get regular stuff in this banner. Then they have a second version of the, of the banner where if you got the VIP deal in JP, you then have access to the improved version of the banner, which guarantees a 10 mercy pull on top of having a... Uh, double drop rate for the Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie medal. Now there's already quite a lot of controversy about this in the Union Cross community because it's essentially pandering towards paying players. Now on some aspects you know this makes complete sense the game is literally made to make make money but on the other side of the spectrum uh especially with like kingdom Hearts 3 literally around the corner it's it's in two months guys it's in two months <laughs> i'm assuming that square enix is gonna be trying to do all that they can to drive as many people to union cross uh kind of what like damien said in his uh stream for kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie. he even suggested that like they they might even do something like have some type of special code within the Kingdom Hearts 3 boxes and whatnot, you know, that, that comes with the game. Uh, if you happen to got a physical f copy of the game where, or maybe even like some stuff within the game that says like, oh, if you do so and so certain amount of tasks, you get free stuff in the Union Cross mobile app. Go ahead and check it out, guys. Uh, especially since it's relevant to the story. Hey, no big deal, right? So at least in the logical perspective, it does make sense. They're going to try and do everything they can to bring people to Union Cross. So pretty much the main concern from the community is more or less along the lines of like this whole, this is basically microtransactions. You're basically trying to grab console players and trying to force them onto a mobile game that is just filled with microtransactions. And I don't know about you guys, but 
at least to me, my greatest fear for Union Cross is the fact that because of how much they're trying to force the Union Cross community in such a uh, unnatural way, um, it's it could potentially be like a little mini repeat of, say, the uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 fiasco that happened like last year or so, a year or two ago. Now, just because the fact that the game is a mobile game and it's normal for mobile games to have microtransaction, because of the fact they're literally trying to grab the console playing audience, because all of the Kingdom Hearts games, except Union Cross, have been on console. And I'm not counting Kingdom Hearts Kai, because like, like barely anybody was able to actually play that in the first place. But every other game was on a console or at least was on a handheld console. So grabbing a player base who's used to just paying a one-time purchase uh, fee for the game and just playing it all the way through to and trying to all of a sudden jump them into a game where like it's trying to like bait you into spending money that's not like i don't see that sitting well very well at all with the union cross like the kingdom hearts community in period like in general let alone the casuals who haven't touched kingdom hearts series in like years until now that finally kingdom hearts 3 is starting to come out to me this just spells disaster unless they drastically do something to change the way and make it way more friendly to uh, casual players and the such. Frankly, I kind of agree with Damien about this that he mentioned in his stream, but I don't even know if Square Enix is going to have the balls to even bring this same exact type of deal to the global version of the game. It's kind of on the borderline. They very possibly could because they did it for Black Friday essentially, where if you got VIP, you got special access to stuff in terms of banners. Uh, so it's very possible they might actually do that in the global version of the game as well where if you get vip for this time uh you also get a double drop right for kairi on top of uh you have a you actually have access to a mercy pool now just to note in case anybody is wondering already if we do end up getting the same exact type of deal as the jp version of the game did then if you happen to be one of those people who gets the vip version of the game remember that the banner is a 10 mercy pool uh, meaning that you have to have at least 30,000 jewels in order to mercy pull her. Realistically, at least for me, that seems a little bit too much. You have to pay 15 bucks on top of already having uh, that many jewels, uh, assuming that you're not looking to buy any more jewels, okay? Uh, to me, 30k jewels, that, like, to me that seems too much. Now, if the banner happens to be like falling price in 10 mercy pull, then in that case, it wouldn't be that as bad because I think that's only like, 20k jewels instead of 30k jewels that would be a lot more worth it in my opinion but for 30k jewels 10 mercy pull and having to like chuck over 15 bucks to even have access to that i don't know to me that just seems that just doesn't seem like quite worth the value in my opinion i would much rather just kind of wait for just a better banner to come out like in a couple months to be honest um and obviously for anybody who's free to play or doesn't get VIP during that specific week that she comes out. This would just be an easy answer for you. Just skip the banner. She's going to be a non mercy pull for regular people who don't get VIP. Uh, in which case you don't have to worry. <laughs> the only medals that you should concern yourself with are like, you know, the, the medals we already have in game that are helping us out like the stained glass medals or like the uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 Riku EX medal plus for example medals of those nature but as of right now just a quick recap no Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie is not a game changing medal she's game breaking yes but she's not game changing like I've said in the past game breaking is when something really good and, and like OP comes out but something game changing is once literally the entire meta is warped around that metal okay so in that regards kingdom hearts 3 Kyrie, just like with how just like with how uh Kyrie ex plus was kh3 Kyrie is game breaking she's really good and op but she's not game changing the meta does not purely revolve around her it's not warped around here where if you don't have her you're you're basically screwed it's not like that
So don't worry, you don't need the medal as of right now uh, or anytime soon. So if you don't happen to get the medal, don't worry about it. It's not the end of the world. You'll be fine. Okay, just wait for a couple of months when we actually get a reprint of her and we get better banners for her as well. If you remember back to even just Kairi EX Plus and Shion EX Plus, their reprint banners came pretty quickly, uh, even as Mercy Bolt. So I have no doubt that I'm ex basically expecting the same exact thing for KH3 Kairi, to be honest. Uh, so on that note, let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It is the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Cross Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.